Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. We've come back just where we left off. Am I supposed to be seeing things here? Alright, so I missed tonight's menu. That's okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, I have a cell phone. Not that it does me any good. And a charger for my cell phone. I guess that makes sense. The bathroom. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Was so busy yesterday I couldn't get a relaxing bath in. And having a huge one like this is sweet. Yeah, you're a college kid, right? I mean in Japan, so. One of <coughs> Pardon me. One of Yuka's gonna bathe. Suck she's not feeling well. Waste of a trip. I hate that when you're sick on vacation. Fucking sucks. I hate being sick in general. I've been sick uh, a lot recently. I'm getting sleepy. Hmm? What the hell is this? The water got all gross. Wasn't this color when I got in, right? Not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty, right? Hey, what's the matter? What the hell you barging on me for? I hate that. Don't be a fucking tsundere. Like... You screamed like you were being murdered, man. We're in a house where we don't know what stuff is. Granted, maybe it's not okay to barge in. For real, though, this is like mud. Just how gross is that body of yours? <laughs> the hell, guys? Shut your mouth, that ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy just like that. Jokes aside, then, isn't this swamp water? I mean, it would make sense considering we are literally but deep in a swamp. Swamp water? Why would that be in the bath, genius? I don't know. Maybe the plumbing screwed up, so it mixed in some swamp water. The shower and toilet look okay. I guess we better not bathe for a while. I'll have to hold out till the old man's back. All right, I'm out. What even? Ah, that pisses, pisses me off. I'll check on Yuka and get to bed. hate rural areas and the people who live in them. <laughs> Sound asleep but you shivering. Must be really sick. I gotta make it eat some tomorrow and take some cold medicine. Shivering. Hey Rin, take a look at this. What's this? A leaf? What about it? Not a leaf. I think it's a water plant. I checked on the car first thing this morning. This was stuffed into the exhaust. What? Maybe somebody did it as a prank while we were parked yesterday. Boy, there's some weird people out there. Okay, this is the kind of thing where you would sit with your knees to your chest and a machete in your hands until the morning comes. I guess this might be that thing of like... You know what's bullshit? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. As though somebody who attempts to murder somebody else in Texas with a melee weapon would get 10 feet before just getting blown the fuck away proper and good. Like, people in Texas are just looking for an excuse to shoot somebody. And boy, if you give them one, man, you know, your days are over, mister, to put it lightly. Um, but like, some some movies kind of shouldn't take place in America because people in America are too jaded, you know? Like, we do have the highest serial killers by capita. Like, if you look at Canada, which is just, in some cases, like, an hour drive that way, Canada has, like, five known serial killers total. 
Like, Canada does not have serial killers. America has so many fucking serial killers for some reason. Like, France and Europe, I don't even think, have that many serial killers. Rin, what's your bust size? Eh? F, so what? Wow. No wonder. All the nutrients meant for your head went to your chest instead, I guess. What the fuck, man? Yeah? That's some excuse for peeping at somebody's chest. How about I peel you apart, gray hairs? Okay, actually, what the fuck, though? Also, I would just call my fucking parents at this point. Like, how big is F? I guess it's the size above double D, right? Is there not an E cup in American sizes? I guess not, huh? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that until now. Also, to imply that F is like a large size, I guess must... Oh, hold on. Differences between American and Japanese bust sizes. Okay, conversion chart. Yeah, they skip A. Or they skip uh, E. Oh, no, they don't. There's a triple D slash E. Why is there a double D? Is it because it looks like boobs? Like DD? Weird. In the UK, they don't have a double A size, and every size is just smaller by one, and they also have an E size. So Japan... Well, Japan uses the same sizes loosely. And an F cup is a double D. Okay, makes sense, I guess. Why would you need a band size converter? Isn't it just centimeters and inches? I mean, granted, I am a man discussing uh, bras, uh, a garment I do not typically wear, but I digress. Anyway, yeah, I was like, I, I guess it's probably that she's using Japanese sizes considering everything. Else. I don't know why I keep thinking that this game is American. Uh, but yeah, she's either double D or F. My phone's dead. Better get it charging. Was there an outlet? There was. I remember there was. I can charge the phone here. Oh, I actually have to. All right. That'll do a bedtime. <laughs> Desk lamp with an outlet on. I've never heard of that. Interesting. I hear water again. <laughs> what? What in the fresh hell? The house is full of water. It's just a dream because I'm not drowning. Boy, what a weird dream. Don't you fucking hate dreams like this? It's a seal. Look, he's bouncing away like seals do. Can you believe that, like, evolution created seals to have to just fucking jiggle themselves across land? That's how they ambulate? Curious about that thing earlier. I gotta go to Yuka's room. What if you woke up, though? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whew, just a dream. What an awful dream.
Hey, Yuka. It's morning. You feeling a little better? We can go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? Yuka? I don't like those sounds. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I hate those sounds. Okay. As I suspected. Yuka, what happened to you? You're all swollen. Hey, what the hell? Hmm? Rin, call an ambulance. An ambulance? It's a phone to the living room. Call an ambulance, hurry. One hell of a scream. Gotta call an ambulance. Yuka's... Hold on, I'm gonna go look. Hey, the time to be going out. Okay. I figured that there would be dialogue to prevent me from going out, but I wanted to see if there would be something. Eleven nine one. Wait, what? Eleven nine. I don't hear a thing. The Y is connected for sure. Is this thing busted? This ain't the time. My cell's charging. I'll call an ambulance with that. Definitely gonna be stolen by the time you get back there, Ren. Out of battery, but it's plugged in. It's friggin' charging, damn it. How's going on? We can't call an ambulance without a goddamn working phone. That is the thing. Is that a fire? The hell happened to Yuka? Her body's swollen, makes her seem like a corpse. Shut the hell up. Yuka is sure as hell not dead. She's still breathing and all that. You know... Let's assume that the old man regularly goes down to the village to go abduct some new uh, victim, you know? And, like, he, he had the plan to go out of the village going. And then we just happen to show up. Why would he still go to the village if, um... If he had new victims? Because, like... I would put money on that old man being villainous in some form. Sorry. What about Satoro? Where'd he go? Bag break? He's off looking for nearby villages or towns or anywhere we can call a hospital. Villages or towns? No way there'd be any in walking distance. We didn't see the, any in the car, right? Well, one of the things... Every country is smaller than America. Like, yes, the United States is really, technically speaking, 50 large, like, small countries mushing themselves together and pretending to be a big one. You know, 50 provinces in a trench coat. But, like, there was this ridiculous, ridiculous post where somebody who lives in Europe was like, my dad lives really far away, so we only go to see him two or three times a year. Where does he live? Oh, like, 45 minutes away? Like, I've had multiple... I My parents have had multiple jobs that required them to drive for 45 minutes or more. And they would do that every day. Like... British people ain't shit with how much that they can drive. And like, I, as you may remember, recently did a challenge to walk as much as my Morrowind character does, among other things. Um, and like, walking that much, yeah, it tires you out, but it's not crazy. Um, in Lord of the Rings, like, Frodo walks for like 12 hours a day, and like, He's not doing anything else. It's not like he has a job and he's still eating. Like, just walk places, guys. Distance is not as crazy as you think. And I think more people should walk places to appreciate that. You know? What if you walked to the store and you were like, wow, I'm going to die. You would appreciate your car more. And if you don't have a car, well, uh, when you do, when your friend drives you to the store, you can be like, thank you. This isn't relevant, but... um. I recently went to Sonic with my friend Erin, and she asked if I wanted to learn how to drive. Not because I seemed like the driving type, but because um, she was like, it seems like you'd be the kind of guy to order for your friends and like just say everyone's order into the, into the drive-thru. 
which I think is a roundabout way of Aaron calling me a top. So I guess thanks. Um, anyway. Besides, in this fog, there's no way. You can only see a few meters ahead. You'll never find anything. How do you propose, then? You want to leave Yuka how she is? You shut the hell up or I'll make you. I'll bash your face in through this plexiglass coffee table. Sandro, how'd it go? No good. I can't see a thing with this heavy fog. I feel lucky I even made it back. Big Silent Hill fogs, man. Also, the the lighting has become more green now, I noticed. Probably to indicate that it is spook times. The lid on that coffee is a very temperamental uh, cap. So I need to be careful about opening it. It once burned my wife's arm. Of course I looked, but this fog makes it impossible. I don't dare walk out there without any guidance. Actually, the old man was really insistent on us not walking around out there. I guess that's what he meant, huh? Well, then what? You can might. What if she dies? I don't want that to happen. No, you guys fine. I don't think she'll die. Is that really true? She got a steady pulse and breathing, and no fever. Nothing uh, wrong other than the external stuff. She does keep muttering she's cold. Not that there's any reason to leave her, leave her be. We've got to get to a hospital soon. If we had a map, we could walk through the mountains. How about we look for one? All right. I'm sure we'll... Really, guys? Again, like, Americans don't do this. I talk shit on Americans all of the time, but at the very least, a couple generations of horror movies have beaded into us. Holy shit. Don't split up. You know? Like... Scooby-Doo is now hitting its, uh, like, how old is Scooby-Doo now? Scooby-Doo is nearly, like, 60 years old. Maybe 70. Like, don't split up, gang. Uh, about the phone not working and the charger neither. Do you know why that happened? I don't know. But it won't work because the power's out. This house has power. Yeah? Maybe it's an outage that the guy forgot to pay his bills. Either way, power's out. You can see how dark it is about the lights, huh? Yeah, are right. But why? We had power late yesterday. Don't have a clue. Still, you could take priority. Got to find that map. Yeah, I got it. Let's search the house together. Yuka, we got to help her quick. Yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. Cold? It's cold. Maybe I should warm up the room. There's a fireplace. Not knowing what Yuka's condition, should we? Gotta think about this. Hmm? I stepped in something. Very, very good sound design. The noises are very, very creepy and gross. Shelves. Also shelves. Mm hmm I've never owned an ashtray, and I'm very proud of this fact. Oh, oh. Hmm, damn. I'm going to try again. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Okay. I guess this is the time to hit the second floor then, huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, woman floating. A uh, woman floating, having come up adrift. 
Actually, I'll talk to you. Yo, Cedaro, found any maps yet? Nothing yet. Seemed like a likely place. I'll check here. You look somewhere else. What's up? You, why the hell did that happen to her? I mean, it's flat out ridiculous, right? For a body to suddenly swell up like that. I was wondering about that too. I thought maybe allergies, but it's way too bad of swelling. Maybe an infection. We're still okay, so I can't imagine that. Then it is. Oh, it's just a dream. It wasn't real. See, my expectation was that we would assume that there's going to be a literal curse. But then as it happens, it's actually like all mundane things. Like it's essentially a Scooby-Doo hoax, you know? That's my guess. Yeah, figures. <laughs> your brains are in your tits. What an odd line to write. For the time being, look for that map. Ask me if you need anything. Bookcase. Poetry anthology. Center of the world is the secret place of God's true secret. Sleep forever in secrecy. This guy's a pretty heavy smoker if he has this many ashtrays. A goldfish bowl. The water's murky. Subtle. Chio. Another one of those pictures. A sketchbook. I love father. He locked up lots of fishy fish. The fishy fish is so deplorable. I hate looking at the fishy fish. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Chie is written on one of these building blocks. The goldfish bowl and the other half of that celestial picture. I love father. He brought up lots of fishy fish. The fishy fish is so adorable. I love looking at them. Interesting. A trash can that's drawn in a different art style. And this bonsai tree that doesn't go with the rest of the decor. And also, pot. And something inside. Oh, it's too small for my hand. Let me try turning it upside down. Oh, this is heavy. Can't lift this up. I have to reach for it somehow. Locked from the inside. You can see it clasped through the gap. Maybe we can find a wire. Okay. Wax in the keyhole. Nice. Hmm? Someone on the bed? Clip. Shelves with lamp. Lamp. And a note. Five down, four right, one down, five right, four up. And then some dots. Possibly boobs. Oh, I used the key, I guess. Hey, it's very clearly the same thing that's happening to our friend downstairs. A dusty piano. And a mermaid. Gee, I wonder what happened to these guys' kids. All right, so two children I'm seeing. I think I should start the fireplace in Yuka's room. She seems super cold. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know if firewood. If we find some, I guess, but I don't know. The old mansion? Go out the front and turn right. Maybe we'll check there too, but if there's no map here. You don't think I'd go in there first already? Give this one a thorough search. Shut up. I know. I was asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They stick the clip in the gap. Maybe I can remove the clasp. Oh, cool, and it did both sides. Trashkin. Shelf. 
a Japanese style bureau. Futons. Suitcases. This is another bed. Because for a lot of these, they have like very American style beds, I notice. Because um, I imagine, traditionally speaking, Japanese people would sleep on the floor. So, Chie and Chio? Chio. So, let's assume that Chie and Chio played in these rooms separately. Did they sleep together in the same room? Because there are two beds here. Maybe, uh, what was his name? Yukiko? The old man? Had a weird, uh, like, mama bear, papa bear thing going on where he didn't sleep in the same bed as his wife. Diary on the writing desk. The clock has come to a sudden stop. The only clock in the house I liked. Where did the wind-up key get to? Come to think of it, isn't it still inside the clock? The precious item protects me. I may not be able to get it now. What? Dishwashing detergent and hand soap. Hey, Yuta. The hell are you looking at? You have look for the map, too. I know. I don't like it when you're shouty. I was taking a break to look at these paintings. So many beautiful paintings in the house. They're stunning. Maybe the wife painted them. Because we know that the kids drew the things upstairs. One kid that doesn't like the fish probably drew the weird gross thing. And the other kid that likes the fish probably drew it as a pretty mermaid. Let's throw this, this stool in there. Or table or whatever it is. Wall clock. Five down, four right. Okay. Hmm. Horror games are still having trouble getting away from Resident Evil and having a creepy ass big old house. And granted, it's great, you know? Hmm. You know, on the topic of Mermaid's The Body Found, I can't believe people were convinced by that. I guess I know that a lot of people are dumb, but like, I was blown away by how many people I thought were rational. Uh, like my friend Troy, we're like a thousand percent convinced that Mermaids the Body Found was real. What a bunch of dummies. Can we talk about how there's five fireplaces on the bottom floor? Because there's one in each bedroom. There are four guest bedrooms. And there's one in the living room. Slacking off again. Sorry. You hit me or what's this problem? Hmm. Now, I guess it could be that, um, actually, I'm not going to say anything yet. Though I am going to go look for Yuta because, yep, there he is, you motherfucker. Yuta, are you okay? Didn't even respond. He's losing it. Can't say I blame him. Okay. My assumption is that this is like the 
Okay. My assumption is that this is like a very... My assumption is that it's a Scooby-Doo hoax, you know? That there's something that makes people sick and that there's all a very logical explanation for all of this. But if there isn't, what if there's like a local curse that just makes people want to play out the roles of the of the like rich guy and the mermaid? I wonder, did I have the wrong key for it? Or should I have waited to use my key? Center of the world, secret place of gods, true secret to sleep forever in secrecy. The paintings, the ones of Ophelia? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Ophelia? She cares from Hamlet, a tragic heroine since so she gets painted a lot. In fact, all of these depict the same scene of Hamlet, Ophelia's death scene. Ophelia's father is killed, her lover forsakes her, and she drowns in a river. If it's suicide or an accident, isn't clear. It's probably suicide, dude. So most paintings of Ophelia are, I guess it captures the minds of a lot of artists. I don't know what the hell you're going on about. You wouldn't, would you? Gotta be honest, running out of places to check here. Looking for a clock and probably a candle to melt the wax there. See, there's a bunch of clocks that look like that, but the only one near floor level is the one downstairs. I don't want to, I wonder what year this is supposed to take place in. Presumably the year it came out, I guess. Okay. Uh, hey, I just realized that it's been um, 30 minutes, so I should probably put a pause on it here. So, I've been Alfred, this has been Mermaid Swamp, and the plot does, in fact, thicken. It coagulates, even. Um... So I'll see you guys next time. Please come back. Uh, thank you for coming, though. Have a good day. Happy Halloween, everyone.